Penn State for about three years, in 1967, the National Endowment for the Arts and the various film companies and some private philanthropists gave startup money to begin the American Film Institute. And uh, I was hired as part of their first staff. I went to work for them in 1968. And my job was to augment the National Film Collection at the Library of Congress, especially in what they called the gap years. The library was collecting paper prints of motion pictures beginning in 1894 and until 1912 as evidence of copyright. And in fact, in the 1950s, they began a program which was funded by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences to re-photograph those paper prints onto film so that prints could be made, they could be projected. But between the time they shut down the paper print program, which was basically in 1912, though a few deposits lingered on into about 1915, and when they began collecting nitrate prints for evidence of copyright in 1942, the library didn't keep any films. They would receive them and a copyright examiner would examine them to be sure the copyright notice was correct and the film actually existed and so on. But then the prints would be returned. So they wanted to fill that gap and yeah. that's what the American Film Institute undertook to do, hiring me. Uh, and although we had cooperation from the studios and I was able to negotiate, for example, the gift of all the Warner Brothers negatives Wow. Um, to the library and all the RKO negatives and Columbia negatives. Most of the silent films that we were able to get, with a few exceptions, Paramount still had a couple of hundred silent films in its vaults, and they gave those to the library, and I, I negotiated that deal. But most of them came from silent f or from film collectors. And uh, since I was, by that point, pretty well familiar with the collecting community, having been doing this stuff since the age of 12. Uh, I was the one who would go around to collectors and negotiate deals and get their films either as gifts or purchase or to copy for the Library of Congress. And then we would get all these films in, right? And we had to figure out a way to preserve them because they were nitrate film and flammable and subject to chemical decay and deterioration and all those things you know about nitrate film.